Hi everyone! Welcome to our YouTube channel Research Ready and Student Matters Hub by Doc Lin. Okay, so if you are new to our channel, you are welcome to view the list of the videos that we have in our channel and I hope that it also can help you in your journey as a researcher. Now what are we going to discuss today is all about the procedure of the study. So, paano ba gumawa ng procedure of the study? At inyo ituturo natin step-by-step -step procedure. So, maaring nagawa nyo na yung chapter 1 ng inyong research, nagawa nyo na rin yung chapter 2, at kung ang procedure ng study ninyo ay makikita natin sa chapter 3. So, paano ba siya ginagawa? Ang procedure of the study ay ang detailed explanation kung ano ba yung plano in the case of the proposal ng isang researcher para gagawin niya yung kanyang research. Or kapag natapos na yung iyong research, ano yung mga ginawa mo na detailed procedure ng iyong study. Ang content na i-discuss ko ay general. So maaring ito yung specific na ginagamit ng school nyo or maaring din namang merong requirement ng school nyo para sa inyong procedure of the study. Okay? Pero napaka-importante nito kasi kapag nabasa ko to, and I'm one of your final members in your research at nabasa ko siya, so makikita ko ito yung mga prosesong ginawa no, ng researcher para matapos yung kanyang study. So malalaman ko kung tama ba yung process na ginawa niya sa paggather ng data, yung design na ginamit niya, yung mga protocols na sinunod niya, Paano siya nakapag-gumpam also ng kanyang findings ng study? So, discuss natin kung paano gawin ang procedure of the study. So, ang una natin dapat gawin ay, let's start with an overview. Let's provide a brief summary kung ano yung ine-entail or ine-explain ng procedure ng ating study. Kasi sineset nito yung context sa readers natin. No, ano ba yung mga generally uh, ginawa natin sa ating research? Pangalawa, syempre magkaroon tayo ng a little or short discussion of our research design. You have to specify whether your study is quality, quantity, or mixed methods. And if it is quality, quantity, or mixed methods, anong design ang ginamit ni researcher? No, ito yung ating research design. I-mention mo din yung overall approach. Is it an experimental research? Is it a longitudinal research? A cross-sectional research? Then you have to explain why. Number three, detail the participants. Describe mo yung iyong target population at kung nag-sample ka, paano sila na-select? Anong type ng sampling ang ginamit mo? Is it random? Convenient sampling? Or what? You also include inclusion-exclusion criteria kung ito ay qualitative research. Number four, yung outline ng iyong setting. You can shortly describe the location where the study will be conducted or is conducted or are conducted or was conducted. No? So saan, saan ba siya uh, ginawa yung study mo? Is it on a laboratory? Is it on a field? Is it online? So you have to describe it. Mention also any relevant environmental factors na naka-influence or might influence your study. Next, you have to explain the materials and tools that you use. You have to list the instruments, the tools, or technologies that will be used in your study example, survey, gumamit ka ba ng software, gumamit ka ba ng equipment. So, you have to discuss that. Include also the details on how are you going to use these tools. Or are they validated? Or have you tested the reliability of these tools? No. Kasi nga, procedure of the study is all the details that you plan to use or you planned na nagamit mo na siya sa iyong study. Describe the procedure or steps. Uh, ito is ito, isa itong importanteng ingredients ng procedure of the study. Yung step-by-step -step process. I-breakdown mo yung procedures 
sa isang clear at sequential steps. No? So, kasi na i-describe nito yung points or yung list of clarity kung anong ginawa mo sa inyong research or, or gagawin mo. Provide detailed instruction for each steps. How do you administer the survey or how do you conduct the interview? Tapos yung timeline. Indicate how long each step will take. Alo, nag-survey ka. For how long? Include also the overall duration of the study. Next, you address the data collection. Explain how the data will be collected. Discuss who will collect the data and how are you going to ensure consistency of collecting the data. Isa pa sa important ingredients ng procedure of the study is yung tinatawag nating ethical considerations. I-mention mo, how will you obtain informed consent form of your participants? I-describe mo rin yung measures to be undertaken para ma-insure yung confidentiality at ma-protectahan mo yung iyong participants. Next, i-discuss mo yung data analysis. So, meron ka ng uh, data collection. Ngayon, paano mo in-analyze yung data? Are you going to use statistical methods or thematic analysis? You can also mention shop software that you have used or tools that you're going to use for analysis of your data. And lastly, you revised your procedure of the study for clarity and conciseness. You have to ensure that the procedures are clearly written and free of jargon that others might not understand na kapag binasa nila yung iyong research, hindi nila maintindihan because these are jargon or technical terms. Make sure to use a straightforward language so that someone also can replicate the study based on your description. Okay, so that is how you are going to make your procedure of the study. Each course has their own format on making their procedure of the study. So what is important is that all of the elements that I have mentioned are present in uh, your research paper. So in order to do that, we are trying to give to give examples to you. So example, yung mga elements na ginawa natin or diniscuss natin kanina, ano ba yung mga pwedeng laman niya? So let's try to give an example. Okay? So, kunyari, dito sa ating number one, so sinabi kanina ni ma'am that you have to have an overview. So, you might state, this study investigate the effects of remote work on employee productivity in tech companies. So, example, yun yung iyong objective. Then, you have to mention your research design. Oh, a mixed methods approach will be employed combining quantitative surveys and qualitative interviews. With regard to your participants, the target population consists of full-time employees at the tech companies. So, relative naman sa iyong qualitative, magsiset ka ng inclusion criteria. Employed for at least 6 months and part-time workers are not included. On the setting, the study will take place in various tech companies within a particular city or locality. For the materials and tools, an online survey will be used to assess productivity alongside semi-structured interviews because you have mentioned on your research design, you're going to use quanti and quali or mixed methods. Then, you have to detail the procedure or the steps. So, you recruit your participants and then you administer your uh, survey online and then you conduct interviews with selected survey participants. So, that's the procedure or steps. Then, on the data collection, so sinabi mo na surveys will be collected through an online platform while interviews will be recorded and transcribed. In terms of ethical considerations, so you can mention that you have used informed consent form to the participant and all the data will be anonymized. How will you analyze your data? So sabi mo, quantitative data will be analyzed using SPSS version 23 and qualitative data will undergo thematic analysis. So basically, that is an example of how are you going to make your procedure of the study. As mentioned, maybe your school has your own format, but these elements, I assure you, are present. So that's how you discuss your procedure of the study. So I hope that this video helped you 
in coming up with a very good procedure of the study that you might not be questioned in your defense about its contents. Please like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel so that you will be updated on the latest lesson videos that we are posting. Thank you for all those who consistently support our YouTube channel and share it with others and also try to watch it and help them on their research project. Always remember, we unlock insights to empower your minds. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you on our next lesson video. Bye-bye.